For this video, I've opened up one of the default preview files for Animate, which you can check out if you create a new file here. You'll see they have a bunch of example files at the bottom there, so I've just opened up one of them. And we're gonna talk about the actual stage line here, the stage border. And in newer versions of Animate, you should see that there is a line that automatically appears to tell you what's in frame and what isn't. You may be actually looking at Animate and not seeing a border at all. If that's the case, that's fine. You can easily change that by going to preferences. And so there are a few preferences about the actual border. So what you might have is this preference selected. So if I press OK, it actually hides the border like this. So if you're not seeing it, that's fine. Just go here and select here and you will get the border. And so really with this, the quick tip I have is that you can go up to the top right here and it has a clip content preference. If you enable it, it will automatically hide anything that's not actually within the frame. So this can be easier to actually visually manage the cinematography and however you're framing up your shots without seeing the actual excess graphics around the border. So it can make things a bit easier. I know it can also be handy to see what's outside the frame just as a reference point. So you can always just toggle it on and off depending on what you want. But if it is toggled on, so it is hiding stuff outside the border, it won't affect anything that's actually there, as in it'll still be there in full. It's just, it will be hidden just like this. It's also worth noting, if I just push this up a bit here, if you enable the camera, so you have a more dynamic way of zooming into shots and things like that, it works the same way. So it just takes the border, whether it's from the default border or with the camera, you can still clip it just like this. So hopefully this will give you a few more options to actually frame your shots in a way that's more comfortable for you. So with that said, I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know if you have any suggestions or questions in the comments section. And if you want to subscribe, that'd be amazing. And I'll see you all in the next video.